Hey fellow RVers, as soon as I can get my mouth to work. <laughs> this is Gary and Sharon with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Where's freedom brought us now? Well, we're pretty close to uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana at a park, state park called Sam Houston Jones State Park. And it's on the, I don't know how to say the river, it's like Calis, Calicasea River, something like that. Starts with a C. Starts with a C. <laughs> And the park is back this way, and we're going to give you a tour of this uh, single loop park, but it does have some other stuff, and we'll show you what it's about. This is our entrance station, where you pull in and get all your uh, paperwork and tags. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day, y'all. All right, thanks. So camping here at this time, December 5th, 2022, is $33 a night for premium campsites, which is where we're at. But Louisiana State Parks offer discounts. Um, I know for a fact they offer senior discounts. I, I can't remember the other two, but they're on the site. You now have to enter the code, though, before they honored the America the Beautiful Pass. And I didn't have to do anything, but now they have a code that you have to enter for 60 and up. So we'll, we'll tell you all about the discounts at the wrap-up. And here we go. So we are driving Meredith. And all these magnolia trees they planted because in the, the hurricane of 2020, 20. All of them were destroyed. In fact, every tree in the whole campground was destroyed. Well, 90% of the 90%. trees. 90%. It was just total. This park just reopened in July of this year. Okay, we're going to head to cabins 1 through 10 in the lodge, boat launch, and the stagecoach and kids' nature trail trailhead. And then we'll come back to the other side. Right. The RV tent camping, Riverside picnic area. It is one big loop, though. So we could just go around. We could. They, yep. Yeah, to show the day. And we just area. might do that. Yeah, that'll be perfect. We might loop the loop. But um, if you have a bike, <laughs> there's a lot of road to ride your bike on, and you can ride your bike on the trails. And the trails are nice and flat and not hard. Well, there are a couple I little hills. I think you need to uh, maybe revisit that one. What? A little hilly. Okay, Mr. D <laughs> says. <laughs> They're not that flat. <laughs> no, there's some tight turns and some rocks and some yes. tight, tight going through there. <laughs> we did we did a little little just a little bit, but I mean, you know, it's not like the whole trail is like that. No, no, I did it on my my electric bike, but yeah. there's one trail that says advanced. I didn't do that. Yeah, it it didn't seem like it was very long though. There are deer in this park, and uh, I know for sure there's another cat. There's a cat here. <laughs> because we see it at night. I'll welcome my dog, my dogs. There's another fork in the road. Yep. But as you can see, there's a lot of land here with this park. Yes, and they've done a good job of cleaning it up and uh, we're thankful that it's back open again. Was that hurricane Laura? Uh, Laura, was it Laura? Laura, Laura I think it was Laura. This is a maintenance area here, so we're just going to keep going. Boat launch and the cabins this way. And so this road right here is a little trailhead parking. And that's the nature trail and the stagecoach trail. The kids nature trail is really cute down there. And also a couple of the other trails come off of there. The blue trail and the yellow trail. So. Usually there's cars there. You can tell it's a Monday. Right. There's a little bathroom across the way, so you can go before you go on your adventure. It does say disc golf course, but I don't know if that's... I have not seen Yeah, we think that golf. might be under all this uh, brush over here somewhere. All right, and to the right are cabins 4 through 10 in the lodge. Cabins 4 through 10 in the lodge. size cabins. So there's some folks down here. 
So the river is right over there. So that's pretty awesome. Nice. So cabin seven is right there. Six was before that. And there is cabin number eight. And you can't walk down to the waterfront. Yeah. They're not all on the water, but do you have access to the river there, it looks like? Mm -hmm. Nine and ten. And there were some other ones back there, but that was a pretty busy little corner for a minute. For a minute. <laughs> all right. I don't know what the lodge was. Did you see any of those looking bigger than the no, other? No, I didn't. Okay, well, maybe one of those cabins is deemed a lodge. We don't know. We don't know. Or maybe there was a lodge. And we'll get more road. Yeah, now this is cabins one through three. Oh, they also have these... Um, glamping? Like glamping tents here. That's a concessionaire though, right? Um, yeah, it's by Tenter. I don't know. We've, we ha we've seen these in the past. and uh, But they're really nice. I mean, they're, they're primitive, but there might be water there. There might be electric. I don't know. No, there's nothing in that meter. But anyway, that's an option. A lodging option. There's three cabins right there. And then we are coming back out. Um, if we go back to the left, which we're not, that's where the trailhead was, where we just were. And then here is the day use area. Nice big open space and the river and boat launch. <laughs> There's the river. There you go. And I can, that's the boat ramp right there, that little cut. Yep, right down there. It's not a very wide one. And I actually fished right down there off that dock and caught some catfish. Yeah. But so it's not a very wide boat ramp. You may be seeing some little dots of rain on the windshield because it's a little chance of rain, but it's not really raining. It's more like spitting. There's a lot of little swampy areas like that, but for this time of year, I don't know if it's just a fluke, but mosquitoes are surprisingly not an issue. They do say beware of the alligator. Yes, and over there is a little uh, one of the trails. And there's uh, also part of the Stagecoach Trail, the Sam Houston Jones State Park Stagecoach Trail. It's a historic trail. There's a bathroom, more water just kind of hanging out there. And river to the right. And a lot of picnic areas. This place was pretty full and over the weekend, this picnic area. Yes, it was. There's another path that goes out. It's a really scenic little walk out onto the swamp. Yeah, goes bridge. over a little bridge there and then loops back around. Yeah, it comes back over here near this bathroom we're going to see in a minute. There is a fishing dock. Mr. D took, tried his hand at fishing over here. Yep, right underneath that tree and I caught catfish. Yep. So, so the fishing report's going to be pretty good here. Well, catfish. Catfish for catfish, but anyway, for fishing. We've been traveling hundreds of miles to find a fishing place. And there is a nice little playground for the kiddos. And of course the swamp is on the left. And a bathroom right there. Let me do a circle so you can see the swamp and the board wall. No, swing around, that's okay. Let's swing around for you. There's a little observation there. platform. Right out here, we've seen turtles, but we've been looking for an alligator. We have not seen one, but that doesn't mean one is not there. But check out the colors too; is very uh, colorful here. The leaves do change in the south, y'all. We're going to be coming up on the campground here in a minute on your tour. So, oh, that, yeah, it's a shelter and a bathroom right there. That was pretty busy over the weekend at shelter. Yeah, that shelter hopping. Uh, there's a lot of trash cans around. We appreciate that. Here is the swing set. There's our construction guy still working on that hole. Yeah. So uh, we've met a couple of locals while here, and they said that this place used to be so treed you couldn't see 
and now it's all open. I, I can't even imagine. The whole campground was under a canopy of trees and now it's wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the campground um, looks like it used to be pretty tight. Uh, the older pictures of it with all the trees. The wind's blowing. You can see it out there on the water. And there's a lot of houses on this river, so it might not be a wilderness paddle experience if you choose to paddle, but some nice houses along the river. And then we're coming up on one of the trailheads. This is the Orange Trail. Orange Trail right there. That is a two mile long trail. They're all, none of them are long and it will take you back around to the other side of the campground. There you go. Our dogs got ticks there so we don't go on that one anymore. And here we are at the campground. Now if you're coming from the check-in station you would actually be on this road but coming from the other direction of this road. Right, right. We kind of went around that loop. So, uh, so I'm just going to pull in here and just, we're just, right now you're looking at the campground. That's an overview. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we go. And again, if there's folks out, we're, we're not going to take pictures. Uh, 25 is right to the right. Um, these are pull-throughs in the middle. That's 20, I believe. Is that 20? I can't see it. 20, yep, 20. and 21. And then there's these are back ends over here on the right. Now I know the pull throughs are 50 amp. We'll have to check on the other ones. Here's an empty one coming up. There's 29 right there. So nice back inside. Get a picnic table, grill. There is 24, 24, right next to the playground. Just little monkey bars and uh, swings. Some more of those um, yurts over there. There's site 19. These are back in. And 18. And then there's uh, those tw 21 we just passed in 20, the pull throughs and 16, but there's a, uh, that's a busy site right there. And we'll just head on around. Okay, there's another row of pull-throughs and this one to the right, uh, so to the left are pull-throughs and to the right are back-ends. So number nine is to our left. It is a empty pull through but uh, there are some people out so it, it is a quite a busy campground here's a pull through coming up that is empty that would be 11 right because we're in 12 right yeah 11 is right here okay yep. here we go site number 11 one of the pull throughs and it is right next to us we are site 12 right there and we are loving this site Right there is a nice little laundry room, and the laundry room takes, uh, well, well, we'll tell you about the laundry room. In the wrap-up, yeah. Yeah, Mr. D really liked that laundry room. Site six is right there, back end. Site five, that empty one there. And site number four, right there. There's some more of those glamping Yeah, I there. don't even know if those are available. We've not seen anybody there, but no. but there are some right there. And the trail, that orange trail, goes in behind there. All right, and then this is the last row over here, all back in sights. And there is the bathhouse and the uh, dumpsters. And then that's your view. And you, there's a trail that goes around that as well. That little swampy area. Right it's really there pretty. There's the trailhead. Yeah, right down there to the right. Okay. <laughs> Watch the bump. So the, yeah, that's the parking and picnic area, the trail. So just flip around. Nice here. peaceful place. There's a closer look at that trail. It is the uh, I can't read it. Cypress. Cypress. 
something trail. Yeah, then there's red, upper red, and lower red or something. Yeah. It's not long. And it also takes you over a bridge over this lovely little lagoon area. And it comes out like over the Deus area. Yeah. It's a nice little walk. I think the longest one might be the blue trail. It's four points up the mouse. We did not get a trail map. I don't think there is a trail map. I'm just happy the trails are open. But they're easy to figure out. There's the park. You can see it all in one sweep. Little bump. But the sites are nice and you know, you have plenty of room between you and your neighbor. Not bad at all. And as you can tell by looking at it, this was all redone after the hurricane. Yeah. This was all wooded. Um, I don't think I mentioned they have sewer here. So our so our site is 50 amp water and sewer. And we came from a park with no uh, closed dump station and no sewer. We had a lot of laundry. <laughs> Happy to have sewer. There you go. Welcome to our site. <clears throat> Gotta wait for her to get comfortable here <laughs> on the picadicca table. <laughs> comfortable. Comfortable. Are we comfortable now? I'm good. Okay. A little overcast and windy. Hope we don't get any wind noise, but maybe not. Anywho. Or AC noise. Or AC or whatever. <laughs> or dogs. Or <laughs> that was our little tour here of uh, Sam Houston Jones State Park here in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> and the park itself, as you saw, there's some hiking trails here. There's there's a restroom here. There's a, what else is here? Uh, laundromat. Laundromats here, and you can use that. that uh, oh, let me tell you about the laundromat, as long as I'm on the laundromat. <clears throat> the laundromat here calls, uses a thing called a pay ranger. Now you can use coins too. But if you download the app, it's like a PayPal, mm -hmm. and put the point range, the, the pay ranger thing in the uh, in your in your phone, and you know put some money in it, like 10, 20 bucks, whatever you want to put in there. And then you can just turn the machines on with your phone. It just Bluetooth right to the machines, and you can turn them on, and then you can walk away, and it, it even it, it gives you the number of every machine that's in there, yeah. and so you just pick the number of the machine you want to use and hit it, and you're off to go and it gives you a as long as you're close enough to connect to the to the bluetooth to the machine it'll tell you how much longer your machines are going to be washing yeah it, he was so excited <laughs> but you don't need He's coin like you just put push the button on the on the on your phone and just start washing yeah so you don't cool. have to have a bunch of quarters with you yeah so that was called the pay ranger app and i don't know if all louisiana state parks use pay ranger app for their laundromats but this one here did we have never seen that mm -hmm. anywhere anywhere i've so. seen them use you know debit cards but yeah. this is a regular yeah, yeah. so it's got hair everywhere now as far as the, the site goes we got a concrete site fairly level we uh did use one board because we had three tires grounded and one just a little bit up not much but not that much yeah but it wasn't a whole lot but we had three grounded and one up a little bit um and it is a full service site they're all 50 amp sites we all have water we all have our sewer and there's a restroom over there you need to use restroom or showers so mm -hmm. and then dumpsters are back over here now, as far as the yards uh, they're a concession like we said and i don't think they're being rented at this time Whoa, and the wind squint. is blowing and the, and the phone is wiggling <laughs> but anyway and uh the day use area is over there it's got a nice boardwalk a couple of boardwalks in fact there's like three throughout the park that you can uh walk across and you know see the the marsh ponds and all that yeah it's really scenic here it even though someone said 90 percent of the trees but this used to be covered in trees but there's still trees but a, it, a lot were wiped out by the hurricane a few years ago a couple now, years ago now i did try some fishing up there uh in the day use area and then one one night over by the boat ramp they do have a boat ramp it's a small boat ramp but you saw it 
Um, I caught some catfish. That's all I caught, just catfish. Nothing else, just channel cats. Caught about a dozen or so, but it was fun, you know, catching something. Mr. D got to fish. Yeah, Yay. so. <laughs> now, the, as uh, the trails, I took my e-bike and she pedaled her bike and we pedaled up, uh, I think, all the trails except the blue trail, which is the longest trail. Well, we're not done yet, though. That's going to get done. Well, she's not done yet, but that's going to get done. <laughs> um, but you can, but there's a, that, that seems to be what a lot of people do here. They come and they bike these trails. Right. They're, they're hikeable though. A lot of jogging right. on the trails because they're nice and flat and for the most part, and they make nice hiking, jogging, biking trails. Of course, there's lots of hard road here to, to ride a bike on if you just want to ride on regular road roads. True. Plenty of that. Yeah. As far as our Verizon was here, it was pretty good. Lightning fast. Yes. Thank no you, Verizon. No issues here with the, the Verizon service. Uh, we came from Sea Room where, woo. We had nothing to everything. Uh, a lick and a prayer, and uh, we've got service. Now, as far as this, the, the address for this park is Lake Charles. And Lake Charles, I'm going to round it up to 30 minutes from here. There's Walmarts there and everything else. Now, between here and Lake Charles, there's a town called Westlake. Westlake. And in Westlake, there's also several other. There's a Rouse's Market. There's a, um, one of those, I think, like natural food markets, whatever that are called. And there's also restaurants, auto parts stores, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff's there, too. So you don't have to go all the way, all the way to Lake Charles. You don't have to drive 30 minutes to Lake Charles. You can right. drive there's, 15 or 20. Yeah, someplace closer. So that's the... Uh, that's the neighborhood report. Um, not a lot to do outside the park here as far as scenic stuff to do outside the park, but um, the park is okay. It's a nice park, real nice park. And I'm gonna let you add some stuff now. <laughs> okay, she didn't have anything to add, so we're going <laughs> um, No, it's just it's scenic, it's peaceful. Uh, sites are nice and large, as you can see. This is our neighbor's pad here. No one's there right at the moment, but you have plenty of space. And there's uh, pull-through sites here, which is always nice, and they're nice and large, and um, there are deer here, so, and probably other varmints. Of, Maybe a snake or two. Yeah, so we've seen some mostly dead snakes, yeah. turtles, and alligator warning signs. Yeah, so. And some birds. Yeah, and birds. It's, yeah, a lot of wading birds. So it's a really scenic park. They also have cabins, and really nice cabins. Some of them are right on the river. And I think those are $175. I'm not sure. Yes. Check the website. But um, they're nice. They're nice. And they have the little yurts, the little glamping yurts, which I don't know how much they are or anything about that. But that is another option here if they are renting them. I want to mention the reservation process. Okay, the only thing with Louisiana State Parks, they now have codes that you need to enter. And there's three codes. And I said I would check them before the wrap-up, but I haven't. And I'm pretty sure military is one and then you have seniors and there's another one just be aware that's a change that's happened since we came through here in the spring so look for those codes and see if you one of those discounts will apply to you and I'll I'll link the website down below so that you can check it out okay now we're done with that we're done with that <laughs> I want to mention one of the things park does have a Wi-Fi it does and I do have a park Wi-Fi here and they lock the gate they do lock they the do, gate. They locked a gate and um, like a yeah. yeah. So other than that, uh, it's been a whoops airplane. It's been a. Uh, it's a great. It's a great park. Feels like home. We're from yeah. Florida. This is very Florida-like, but there are several trees here that have beautiful colored leaves. And when we're walking the dogs, the leaves are just blowing, just floating down like fall. So very pretty. A little bit of color. So they do have a fire pit right there and a nice barbecue over here. Yeah. So you can fire it up and then grill it. And everything, I think this park just opened in July. So everything is like clean, new, new yeah. um, grass. It, it just really is a nice park. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, I think we've covered all the bases on this park and we would recommend somebody come in here if they wanted to. I think it was, I'm gonna go, here we go, $33 a night. Well, and here's the reason why we don't always say the prices. At this time? It is $33 a night, right? But isn't it something different for Monday through, I don't know, the d days of the week? It could be. But yeah, roughly, it, you're going to figure 
33 35 yeah. dollars a night yeah and it, it's one of those if you get things, a discount of course it's less right the weekends are um you know more so there you just go. check that out when you're looking it's it gets confusing but yeah. <laughs> but roughly that's what it is we saw night. 33 on one of the yeah we'll say it's so. in the 30s yeah there so you go. in that ballpark yeah. yeah so with that being said now, now. we're gonna wrap it up <laughs> So this is Gary and Sharon and Mother Nature and the Wind. We like looking at freedom. Click, like, and subscribe. Tra follow us on our journeys. Travel us on our follows. And uh, <laughs> hope to see you on the road sometime. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Say it twice because I'll forget the first time. Hello, hello. <laughs> Not like what? what's his name used to knock three times at, um, on that TV show. Oh, Sheldon. Sheldon. <laughs> Penny. Yeah. yeah. Penny. Hello? 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 Penny. Okay. <laughs> Take care, folks. All right. Safe travels. Bye. Bye.